To this day, Stan and Ollie are as popular as ever. Memorabilia sells for high prices at auctions. And two dedicated museums have been set up in their respective birthplaces of Ulverston, England and Harlem, Georgia. And they've even been commemorated on postage stamps. As this program draws to its conclusion, we'll take a closer look at the two museums which are doing such a fine job of preserving the memory of Laurel and Hardy's comic genius. Ulverston is a classic English market town and visitors will enjoy a sense of nostalgia here even in the 21st century. As we've already seen earlier in the film, Stan Laurel's birthplace in Argyle Street has a commemorative plaque, but herein lies a very interesting tale. The name of Bill Cubin is synonymous with the Laurel and Hardy Museum. It was when this great Laurel and Hardy fan was mayor of Ulverston in the 1970s that Stan's birthplace was officially recognised. Bill then went on to found the museum from his own collection of Laurel and Hardy memorabilia and it grew at a rapid pace. As you look around the museum you can see that every bit of available space has been used and you do need to make sure that you take it all in. When Bill died the museum was left in the capable hands of his daughter Marion who with the help of her sons is carrying on his precious legacy which is great news for Laurel and Hardy fans the whole world over. It's certainly been some time since Laurel and Hardy died, and the most popular films belong to a bygone era when cinema entertainment was a much more innocent business than it is today. However, there's still a timeless element to their movies, and visitors to the museum are able to watch all their favourites in a miniature movie theatre which Bill Cubin created especially for the purpose. Grandparents remember seeing the comic duo at the cinema. Parents remember watching the films on television. And the children who are lucky enough to be brought here will enjoy Laurel and Hardy's slapstick antics with new eyes, creating extra special memories of their own. What the Ulverston Museum on the English side of the Atlantic does for Stan, the Harlem Museum does for Ollie on the other side of the pond. Harlem, Georgia was founded in 1870 and was named by a New Yorker visiting the town who thought it resembled that more famous Harlem of his birthplace. Sadly, you won't locate Oliver Hardy's birthplace because it was demolished in the late 1950s. But don't let that deter you, as the wonderful Laurel and Hardy Museum of Harlem certainly makes up for it. This is a delightful work in progress, where, just like its English counterpart, exhibits are expanding on a daily basis as memorabilia floods in from all over the world. Just as Bill Cubin created a truly atmospheric small cinema to screen Laurel and Hardy classics at Ulverston, the museum in Harlem has provided a movie theatre for its visitors too. Although the memorabilia is wonderful and knowing the real men beneath the Derby hats is an added bonus, it's the movies that really show the magic of Laurel and Hardy, cutting across age and cultural barriers to bring pleasure to one and all. Laurel and Hardy are truly adored by people of all ages, from 8 to 80, and this is mainly because the love they put into their comedy really did shine through. Other famous comedians such as Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton were always proud to show their technical brilliance and expertise on the silver screen. The audience would laugh, but also be thinking how clever the performers were. And in doing this, the audience was kept at a distance. Yet Stan and Dobby, although just as technically and comically adept, would hide all that to just go for the laughs and simple. They were the true clowns and that is why they are still laughed at and loved in equal measure today.
in the end, true lasting fame is achieved not by luck, but by hard graft, talent and a touch of magic. Stan and Ollie put in the time and the effort to make their comedies little works of genius, and it's for these flickering black and white images that they will be best remembered. Stan Lowell and Oliver Hardy were, are, and always will be a match made in heaven, who've left their comedy footprints forever on the face of this earth. Thank you.